the Joe Rogan experience. Tell me what you got there. Yeah, in, you know, talking about bear grease and trying to connect it to a podcast. I mean, at some point, I'll have to explain the metaphor of bear grease. What's explaining now? Well, so bear grease at one time was this highly valued commodity. I mean, used as a, a unit of currency on the American frontier. And, and, and bear, bear grease, bear oil would be the rendered fat of a bear that would turn into liquid. Like this right here. And this so is, this, this is, is for you. Thank you. Have you ever have you ever had? I mean, I know you've bear hunted, but yes. have you had bear grease before? No, I've only I've eaten bear. I've never rendered bear fat or cooked anything in bear fat. I've only yeah. just taken the meat and and yeah. cooked it. Yeah. Usually so, slow cooking. So or, what you would do with that is you would cook with it. You would fry with it. You can make pastries with it. You can use it to condition leather. You it's can supposed use to be amazing to condition, for pastries, right? For like it is. pie yep. crust. Yep. And so there was a time when bear grease bear lard was super valuable on the frontier before refrigeration because bear fat stayed didn't go rancid as quickly as pork lard so like on Mm. the you would have pork and bear would be essentially the places where you would get it this lasted longer that'll lot last on the shelf at your house unrefrigerated for over a year why is it why does it last so much longer just whatever the constituency of bear lard is it just stays good for that long so going back to this metaphor of the name of bear grease in our podcast we're we're exploring things and even in the in the in the in the you know the the tagline of the podcast we say that we're exploring thing or things that are forgotten but relevant and we're searching for insight in unlikely places and so like this bear bear grease I brought you some stuff that you can do with bear grease. This is uh, this is some bear fat lye soap. Mm. If you've if you ever used animal tallow soap, no, like just for like bathing, no, washing your hands, have. man, that's incredible stuff. Yeah, it really is. One hundred percent all natural. I mean, it, it's 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 a it's a ancient process of using lye and animal tallow. What is lye exactly? Lye is um, doggone. If you hadn't asked me, it's it's. I mean, it's a uh, it's a chemical it's a caustic chemical that you can buy just about anywhere but uh shoot I how mean, did it's they like, use it's to... like h2 something something that they used to use ash oh they use they 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 got the lie from ash there it is. and uh uh it's a metal hydroxide traditionally obtained by leaching wood ashes yeah. or a strong alkali, which is highly soluble in water, producing caustic NaOH. basic solutions. Sodium, mm. sodium hydroxide. That's what it is. So they would get it from like burning wood. Yeah. So they they the real primitive method for making soap from from animal tallow, and you could use you could make animal tallow soap out of beef tallow, anything, but bear fat lye soap is uh is is our specialty. Now, it, but it. Um, it's supposed to be real good for your skin. It's supposed, you know, because Do you sell this? No, no. When you say our special, you never sell it. Just give no. it away. No, 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 no. no, no, no. This is not not for sale. Just, no, no, uh, no. But did you make this? Yeah, yeah. And so, what are the what's the ingredients? So just lye and four four ingredients: bear fat, sodium hydroxide, lye, water, and then just essential oils. We just for drip the smell. Through. Yeah, yeah. So what, it smells, it smells real good. good. Yeah. What it, are the essential oils? It smells we, like one of them stores. We had at the mall. a bunch of different kind of oils that we added in, like peppermint, whatever. I don't know. Sometimes I'm amazed at how uh, you know, kind of like hygiene conscious us bear hunters are, like making soap <laughs> and stuff. Because the other thing I brought you, Joe, and I know you don't, you don't. You don't run a beard, but uh, this is some bear grease beard oil oh. that I made, and so that is a combination of three things. So it's it's cheating just a little bit, but it's 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 one part bear oil, one part almond oil, one part jojoba oil, and then essential oils. And I mean, you can drip it out, put it on your hands, mm. and uh, ooh, that smells good. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting. Right. And then the last one here. And then I'll start talking about my metaphor again, if if you if you want. But this is a bear grease hand salve, and so bear oil has all kind of folklore around it. And I'm in the process of like an anecdotal research, very serious project of exploring all these folk tales of bear grease and bear oil. And so it's healing properties. Yeah, as a salve? yeah. They they say. I mean, back in the day. 
bear oil would have been used to relieve arthritis pain. Um, they say, and you can find this all over the internet, that bear oil cures baldness, huh. which obviously is like a big right. piece of folklore. Right. But it's still just fun. But going back to the idea that bear grease has all these uses is that this is thing that at one time was a currency. And if you polled the United States, 330 million Americans, and you said, what is bear grease? I mean, like, what percentage of people would even know what it was? Probably like 1% of 1%. Yeah. yeah. And so it's been forgotten. And it, so there was a time when, so there's an archaic unit of measure of a bear oil. They used to take the tanned neck hide of a deer, which would have been a part of the, the buckskin that wasn't usable, the neck hide, and they would have sewed it together, and they would have used it to have stored bear oil and they called it an eel and I, so they would make a container out of it like make a, wine a container flask almost an eel of bear oil huh and it's just a wonder spell it like eel like well it, 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 it you know it's been probably 10 years since i've actually seen it written it's i think it's e l l e like oh. um an eel of of bear oil would have been a unit of measurement so like you could have gone to the store and you're like well i got two eels of bear oil you know, I'd like some flour. I'd like some whatever. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's just it's a wonder that we don't call the U.S. dollar, you know, an eel. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, because mm-hmm. the buck is essentially connected to the value of a white-tailed deer skin that was tanned out and ready for tanning. And that became equivalent to a buck. For one dollar. For one dollar. Wow. And so, so, again, this idea that there's some pretty amazing stuff that's forgotten. And then as hunters... We're very interested in using as much as we can from these animals that we're taking. Very interested in that. And so a bear offers a whole nother market of commodity that really no other big game offers. And that, you know, of, of the big game that we hunt, like, like let's say an elk. I mean, like, you know, you're going you're gonna to keep the meat, obviously. That's the number one thing. You're going to keep his horns. But... Very few people would even keep the hide of that animal, and certainly they're not rendering down elk tallow. White-tailed deer would have the same sequence of usable commodities. Man, a black bear. We have incredible meat. We, I would, I would venture to say that 90 percent, maybe 80 percent, of black bears that are killed in North America, their hides are tanned. They have usually especially in the fall will have an incredible amount of fat which can be rendered down into all these incredible healthy usable products and uh and so i mean like we have we use my point is we use more off of, of a bear than we do almost any other big game animal that we hunt catch new episodes of the joe rogan experience for free only on spotify watch back catalog jre videos on spotify including clips easily seamlessly switch between video and audio experience on spotify you can listen to the jre in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free spotify is absolutely free you don't have to have a premium account to watch new jre episodes you just need to search for the jre on your spotify app go to spotify now to get this full episode of the joe rogan experience 